So today is a kettlebell strength day. Before I get into any um, strength stuff, particularly stuff that includes the upper body, but I will generally do this with every workout, is I will grab a couple of light weights and I'll do some arm circles to warm up my arms before doing any shoulder loading. So that includes body weight, all right? So what I've got is I'm just grabbing a couple of 2.5 pound plates. I'm gonna set up into a good posture, so chest up, shoulders back. Big circles, so I like to start with up the middle and then down the back. Up the middle and down the back. I inhale as I come up, exhale as I come down. And I do anywhere from 10 to 20 of these. A soup can works if you don't have dumbbells or weight plates. So same thing, other side. Think about keeping your shoulder blade down and back. Be careful that you're not overextending or anything like that. Try to keep those ribs down. Okay, we're gonna go out to the side, thumb up position, we're always doing this thumb up, and then across the body. Again, keeping shoulder blade down. So coming across, or sorry, out to the side, and then across. Out to the side, and across. side, to the side, and across. And then I'll fan out, do some uh, kind of rotator cuff ones. Not that I feel like this really accomplishes all that much, but I just like to open up and stretch through the chest a little bit. And uh, I'm just trying to see how much stretch I can get across that chest. If I'm really tight, it's gonna feel like there's a lot of stretch. So I'm just trying to test the waters here and see how my shoulders are today. Okay, so we're done with those. Our format is gonna be pretty consistent today. Three exercises, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds each followed by a 30 second rest, four rounds. For our body weight warm up, we're gonna start with some thread the needle. We're gonna do that left and right. And then we're gonna do some dive bombers. Now, the dive bombers require a little bit of upper body strength. Um, I would suggest that if you're not someone who's um, all that great at push-ups, I want you to do your child's pose push-ups, um, but I want you to do them in a specific way where you stay as close to the floor as possible and then scoop up into a cobra. So let me show you that. Okay, so the child pose push-up modification for the dive bombers, setting up into your child's pose. You're gonna follow the floor, right? Staying low, set your body down, press up. So my legs and, uh, and hips are on the floor and I'm pressing up from there. And then I'm just gonna push back. So I try to think about sort of dragging my nose across the floor, and then press up sit back. So those would be the modifications for the dive bombers. The dive bombers look like this. 
You're getting into, um, it's going to be very similar to the uh, Russian pump. So Russian pump, you just push back, pull forward, push back, pull forward. But from here, we're going to start in that downward dog. You're going to dive bomb to the floor and then scoop up. Hips back, dive bomb to the floor and then scoop up and push back. Okay, take those nice and slow. So we're angling down to the floor and then scooping up, dive bomber. Thread the needle is what we're actually starting with. So that starts high plank, runner's lunge, thread through, open wide. Thread through, open wide. When we thread through, we're taking this arm and we're threading through this gap here, right? We're threading through. So we're trying to get a little bit of the T-spine rotation protraction, retraction, all throughout that movement while being in that really stretched out hip position. Uh, so we're going to do our thread the needle 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other side, and then dive bombers 30 seconds, followed by a 30 second rest, and then um, we're doing that four times. So 30, 30, 30, followed by a 30 second breather. So that makes this approximately an eight minute, uh, not approximately, it's an eight minute set. Because each set is two minutes. Does that make sense? So 30, 30, 30, 30. That's two minutes long. We're doing that four times. So this whole thing that we're doing, all four routes, is going to be eight minutes. Okay, so starting in 10 seconds, starting with our thread the needle. Okay, here we go. High plank, foot forward, open up, thread through. Open up, thread through. Lock in. So lock into place, lock into place. We're looking to own those positions, not just bounce in and out. Takes strength and stability to maintain positions. Takes no strength and stability to bounce in and out of positions. Okay, switch sides. Oh yeah. seconds. One round down, three to go. In typical kettlebell gym fashion, it's freezing cold in here, so thus the fleece. Okay, back to our thread the needle. stretch through here. Switch. Oh. At least if you're me, you do. Got 
Dive bombers. Down to go. If you guys have any, have any questions, always feel free to uh, type in the chat box. Guys, get pumped yet? Those dive bombs are hard. Dive bombers last time. Grab a drink. We're gonna go into another set of exercises. Three exercises again, 30 seconds each, followed by a 30 second rest four times through. Okay, 
and it's going to be pretty simple. This is largely going to be a uh, tricep blaster. We're going to do some alternating leg lift kettlebell pullovers. We're going to do some kettlebell tricep extensions and kettlebell press outs. Um, and the press outs is basically like a bench press, but with the kettlebell, so you just press it straight out. Let me show you all this. So your grip Thumbs are going through the handle, but the hand is gripping the body of the bell. Pull over, so we're lowering down to the floor and coming up with a leg lift. Right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg. I do not need you to pull your head off the floor, but you can. But if you maybe are prone to some neck tightness and you always have a hard time doing abdominal style work with your head coming off the floor, then just leave your head down. It'll still be effective. And then, um, so that's your leg lift pullover. Grab this guy again. So after those, you're gonna keep your elbows, or well, you're gonna keep your upper arm in place, and you're just gonna hammer out some extensions. And you, that handle's gonna have to come down just behind your head. So my arms are angled back a little bit. And then you're gonna finish with some presses. So keep your elbows tucked in. We're gonna to try to have those slide down the sides of the ribs and then press up. This is gonna be in the high abdominal region, like closer to the sternum, more or less. Okay. Start with a light weight, but we'll get through a cycle and then increase your weight uh, if you have additional weight and um, yeah, just make sure you're using a weight that's challenging. Keep in mind that we are going to do four rounds. All right. There it is. Okay. You guys ready to roll? Ten seconds. Starts now. Okay, leg lift pullover. Assume your grip. Pull over. Extensions. Okay, rest for 30 seconds. I'm gonna increase my weight. I'll use the hat.
extensions. Extensions. chips to fall on me. Okay, we got one more set. Okay, let's come back down for that last one. Extensions. Slow on the way down. Stay in control. Keep those shoulders back. Squeeze it through the chest, as well as extending at the arm. OK, 
Okay, that's good. Whew. Oh, I'm gonna feel that. That was a bad idea. All right. All right, we're getting more complex here. So more complex movement. We're gonna do a lunge press. So we're gonna rack the bell. We're gonna step back into a lunge because we always reverse lunge, never forward. We're gonna step back into reverse. Same side uh, of, as the bell. So if you're racked on the right, you're stepping back on the right. So you're gonna step back. You're not gonna set your knee down. You're gonna go deep, but you're gonna be suspended. And you're gonna give me a press. You're gonna pull it back in, and then you're gonna pull back through. And lunge forward. 30 seconds per side. Um, yeah. 30 seconds per side, followed by a 30 second rest. We're gonna do that four times through. Okie dokie do. Let's do it. Start with the light bell. Okay, you guys are in rock, 10 seconds. We're gonna bring a bell up to the rack position. We're gonna step back on that side, step back, suspended, press, back in, step up. And wrap it out. Remember where most of your weight should be. Which foot? That foot. The back foot cannot support your load. It's just a kickstand. Okay, switch sides. Ooh. Posture is gonna be very important here. Trunk stability gonna be very important. Because if you let your shoulders tilt towards that bell, you're gonna lose balance, right? Okay, let's get set it down. Don't step further back than you can mobilize into. If you step super far back and that hip flexor goes on like full tension, you're not going to be able to get a good range of motion and you're not going to feel stable.
sides. So we're going to do one more thing. We're going to do some med ball slams. If you do not have a med ball that's suitable for slamming, then I want you to do some jump squats, okay? We're going to do 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off, and we're going to go for six rounds. It's going to, it's going to suck. But we'll get through it. Ten seconds.
sure you're pulling that ball in close. Okay, that concludes today's strength session. I hope you enjoyed it, I'm sure you did. And uh, tomorrow, the OKC Vancouver competition was supposed to take place. It is still, but sort of. They had to move it online. And uh, so they're accepting video submissions for you to get uh, your rankings. Um, as far as any sort of live lifting or live streaming or Zoom streaming. Uh, there's a few people doing that, but it's not technically a part of the competition as far as I can tell. So if you have some friends or some other lifters, some other fellow club members who uh, want to lift for OKC or who we're going to lift for OKC, try to organize a Zoom meeting or something like that and make it a little bit more fun. Okay, we will catch you guys tomorrow, bright and early, for some uh, kettlebell, which is going to serve as a warm-up for some people who are doing their competition lifts for the OKC. Um, yeah, so we'll see you then. All right, cheers.